Welcome city everybody! Hi, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ladiva Deluxe, Ladipa short, or the chick Elena Glam that's here on Mondays and Wednesdays. But today's Friday, that means Fridays are a drag. And we're doing this hopefully recognizable look, as I always say, by Carrie Colby from RuPaul's Drag Race season 14. And this is her entrance look. It's been requested by one of my subscribers, and also I've been meaning to do this look because it was fabulous and very her representation of Gary Colby and all the trans people. So we're going to be doing this fabulous trans look, the blue and the pink and everything. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and print the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of all the new videos I upload. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and also go live on some Mondays. So follow me on social media, the links are down in the description box, as well as my Patreon group. So like, comment, subscribe, it's good for the algorithm. And let's get right into the fabulous tutorials. Hey, So this is Scarwax. This might have been a mistake, but we're going to find out. If this disappears by the end of the video, you'll know why later on. And I decided to put it on before I start my makeup, you know, can't fix stupid as usual. So since we have no tutorial, I'm just gonna go on my own. So let's block the rest of my eyebrow tattoo. I'm gonna do it with simply a concealer. Prime with clean. ID Catrice Primer. I like this primer because it's very moisturizing. It has a little tint to it, which doesn't do anything, but I find it very, very soft. So for full coverage foundation, for perfect drag look, I'm using the Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage Foundation F10. I haven't used this in a while, but I know it has beautiful, beautiful finish. So I'll just do basic highlight with Skim Chi, the most concealers, white for extra brightness and medium beige mixed. I like to use brush for initial application. You have to go real fast with this because it's kind of dry. That's why I applied the other side. So what do you guys think about Carrie Colby performance on the show? I was hoping she's going to last longer, but you know, it's the nature of the show. People get eliminated. And I loved her. She's the most fierce, beautiful queen. She might be like more of a look queen, but you know, no shade. But she performed well in the comedy and the acting, so she did real well, I think. And I like her personality. She seemed to be very down to earth, too. Contouring with She Glam Contour Stick. And uh, Carrie likes to round up the cheeks. Looks like it. She's got real nice cheekbones, so I'm gonna kind of round this up. My lips are melting, I'm just saying. This was a bad decision to put this on before makeup, but it was kind of a trial. I wanted to see if it works. It does kind of work, but I might have to redo it. We'll see. It doesn't look like she's extremely contouring her nose. I'm saying as I'm contouring my nose, but you know, all blend this, everything will work. So I'm going to start with setting my under eyes. I like to set my under eyes first with Maybelline Fit Me and this is pressed powder in color porcelain because it has a little more coverage than loose uh, and kind of sets everything in a brighter tone. So it brightens up my under eyes. And excuse my crusty under eyes because ever since we moved to this house, kind of been cold and it's colder in the riverside than other areas. So we had heat on and my skin has been so dry. It's literally like falling off. And yes, I'm moisturized. 
I guess it's a matter of adjustment. Okay, now it's time to contour. So this is the NYX palette, and I'm using NYX because uh, Kerry Colby doesn't contour too deeply. She's more like natural snatched, so there is no extra line, so I'm not using the card. So I'm just gonna go in between <clears throat> these two colors in the middle, the like medium, and maybe a little bit of deep because the deepest color should be here and here. That's where the depth is. So I'm gonna go to the middle. I'm gonna continue in the same shape, round it up the cheeks. And then I'm gonna go into the deeper color. I'm just gonna stamp it here and blend. So that's how you get a snatched look and lift the cheekbones. Okay, and the deepest color goes here. And we're gonna blend it with the lighter colors. Same forehead, I'm just going with the lighter colors. So now I'm contouring the nose, I'm taking the lighter shade out of that NYX palette because the nose should be more or less, more or less natural. And when you make a mistake, it's always easy. Just take a little bit of powder. Like I see, it's a little dark here, so... I like to use little fluffy but flat brushes for this kind of thing. Because smudges. Because it's really easy to get in the shape right correctly. And if you make any mistake, I'm taking my beautiful blendiful. I still use this darn blendiful. It's so convenient. And can always make it a little less pigmented. See? Snatched. So well, I'm going to bronze uh, now, bronze and blush, and then I'm gonna go to the eye look. So for the bronzer, I'm gonna use Kimchi Chic Beauty. Uh, I went to Miami. So there it is, in all her glory. I like Kimchi packaging, don't you guys? She's gonna bronze right over the same areas, kind of intensifying contour and make it a little warmer. So for the blush, I chose some that I haven't used almost ever, and this is something I got in BoxyCharm. This is NARS, the infamous orgasm, and I think it's just like perfect pinkish blush for this look. It has a little shimmer in it. If I need more pink later, I'll add more pink later. But for now, I think that's pink enough. And it's glowy, the hell of them boots. So let's do a little bacon with the same powder. We use an air spawn today as usual. So this is what I'm looking at by the way. It's a screenshot because there's no pictures of course from the entrance look. So uh, I mentioned those eyebrows the same way I think most of the time. So I'm using the same colors from NYX palette. This one and this one. I'm using the tiniest brush from Oscar Velasquez Cosmetics. This brush is like the thinnest brush ever. It's so convenient for this kind of thing. And we're gonna continue. It's very similar actually to my eyebrow shape. And if you make a mistake, you can always clean up with concealer. That's why I usually do this before I do a uh, powder. I do it with creams, but you know. Always come up with new order of things. Go to the deeper color to make it a little darker here. So if anything is uneven, I'll just use the same brush and I'll use my foundation color or conceal color, we'll see. Something to match my skin to fix it. And we're gonna fix it from the top. So it's pretty easy eye look. I still got kimchi conceal on my lids. So we're gonna press it back in, it's creasing a little bit. So I'm going to use the palette that I haven't used. It's actually Ace Beauté Slice of Paradise. I got this in PR and look how beautiful this is. It has the right pink and the right blue. That's all you need, pink and blue. And for the white, I'm gonna use my usual Sugar Peel Taco, because that's like the best white. One of the best whites. So uh, I'm looking at the picture, I'm trying to figure out the right is blue, the left is pink. So I'm gonna reverse it because I'm looking straight ahead. So a rose pinch, that's the pink. 
gonna go on this eye it's pretty easy I'm using Oscar Velasquez brushes because they're very big and fluffy and this is the easy very easy blended look there's not much depth it's pretty much just the drama of the colors that's all I'm going to blend this out and add a little white I'm gonna go with the same brush into white I'm just gonna fluff it out here I decided to deepen up the crease with another uh, ASB Tape Palette Classical Paradise. I'm gonna go for this color over here. It's called Soil. I feel like the pink was a little too light. And we're gonna blend it. I'm still using Oscar Velasquez brushes, just use a small one. And I'm gonna use the same smaller fluffy uh, but flat brush at number 8. I'm gonna go in the same soil and then I'm gonna go in pink. I'm just gonna go under eyes. And overlay with rose finch. So it's such a pretty pink color. With another, with another Oscar Velasquez brush. This is number six. The first ones were number nine and number eight. This is number six. Kind of similar shape. And we're gonna go to blue bell. And we're going to go the same thing with the same kind of theme. Very simple. and dip, dip into a taco. I'm gonna blend this out. Now I'm gonna go into a uh, maca. Just so slightly tap that and bluebell just to get a little bit of depth here. And go in under eyes with a bluebell with a little bit of maca, okay? By the way, my lips are slowly disintegrating. <laughs> this is going to be the funniest video to watch. By the end of the video, my lips are going to be like... Ugh. Hopefully, I'll either save them or I'm going to remove them and just use makeup to make my lips look bigger. Carrie's got very particular lips though. So, it's hard to make them look just like that with makeup only. But we're going to try. So I'm going to start with the Colourpop Gel Liner White in the waterline just because her waterline is not too huge so NYX Jumbo is a little big so I'm just gonna go with someone else haven't used this one in a while, it's pretty good I already cleaned up um, my eyelid with my cellar water and Q-tip so we got clean slate I'm gonna use Kim Chi's Chic Chic Concealer in solid white and cat hair on top as usual, of course, and we're gonna go for it. Uh, just a simple cut grease. There is one makeup video circulating on YouTube. Uh, a makeup artist did her makeup, and it's like a quick, quick, a few minute video. Um, but other than that, I didn't see any. And setting it from the same white from Taco. That sugar peel taco, I'm telling you guys, it's so good. I keep using it and I keep loving it more and more. Look at white, how white it is. So, so pigmented. Take a little bit more taco on the same pink brush. We're gonna blend into a highlight so it's all blended. You know, sometimes those very simple looks. They're like the prettiest looks because there is nothing special about it. It's just two eyeshadows, but it looks so pretty and so easy. Same thing, I have blue on it already, so I'm gonna go into white. I'm gonna make it work here. So I'm blending slightly on an angle because Carrie's eyes are very like snatched and elevated. So we're gonna create this feel and eyeliner as well. Like when you do eyeliner, you wanna do eyeliner. Bill lifted. Brush off the pull out now. Okay, I'm gonna use Kimchi Chic Eyeliner. I'm gonna show you how to make my eyeliner more precise and sharp. Because you know, we all have wrinkled eyes, you know, to some degree. The skin is just has a texture. Everybody has texture. So the line, this one, doesn't look that great, but we're gonna fix it. 
So what I found uh, for Kerry Colby, she doesn't have much wing. She kind of just lifts the outer corner, but she doesn't go too far. And this is very smart because the farther up you go, the more it's going to be creases. And you have deep set eyes, it's going to be just asking for all kind of weird shapes. So I just fixed this one off camera. I'm gonna show you on camera what I do. I like to fix the lines. For me, personally, the problematic part is here. Because that's where all the wrinkling occurs most of the time. You know, for most people, I guess. I mean, I'm 46, so <laughs> there are gonna be wrinkles. So I'm gonna use this water-activated liner. It's Midas Cosmetics, so black, obviously. And we're gonna fix the line. So this kind of thing works perfectly because this little tiny brush, any kind of paint brush, like art brushes, they have very, very tiny tips. So we can really fix this line and get rid of all the wrinkles. See, now the line is pretty perfect. And I'm gonna use some cheap eyeliner glue because I don't wanna waste my good one for the gems. I'm gonna want to put one here, here, and one here. This is just what I'm thinking it was looking like from my screenshots. I'm gonna use quite small ones because that's what it looks like. Use my wax pen or whatever we call it. Pick up the jam, very easy. One, two, and three. Here's an Oscar Velasquez mascara. Just the packaging, though, guys. Just the packaging is so drag, so fabulous, so glam. Of course, with drag looks, mascara is not all that important because it's all about the eyelashes, but still, the bottom lashes make a huge difference. And I can't believe my lips are still there, <laughs> barely. So, for Kiri eyelashes, I stacked. Uh, two pairs. That's not like the biggest ones, but I think they're just right. She wasn't wearing like the biggest lashes in the entrance look. So we're going to use this uh, pretty fabulous lashes. And no, I don't remember where they came from. I think one of them came from uh, Sheen. But don't take my word for it. Trying to snatch it up. The bottom lash is really curled, so that gave you uh, gave me a lift. So if you guys are looking for stacking, use the bottom lash that's smaller but more curled and like gonna keep them upright. Especially with three ones, three ones will never stay up. So now we're going to highlight some more. So these areas over here they need to be brighter, and to give you illusion of uh, bigger, wider cheekbones, like she has like very filled cheekbones and I said filled because I'm pretty sure she's got some fillish there and no it's not shade it's just the tea so I'm going to use a little bit of dark blue I don't want to make it completely white because we're looking very tan so white would look very unnatural so I'm going to mix this with NYX Pro Palette uh, Counter Palette and we have the lightest shade here so I'm gonna use the yellow base because we're very tan so I'm going to use the hat and tackle mix together and hopefully it's gonna work. I'm just saying, that's my idea. <laughs> I'm not saying it's gonna work for sure. So I'm gonna try it on this side. I mean, it's brightening. It still looks pretty white because <laughs> taco <laughs> does it. So I think I'm just gonna go for the mix from here and on because we don't want to look too white. Do it. doing the same to the nose just apply NYX counter palette light and mix with the taco white okay I think it's time to fix the lips and finally do something to make them look human-ish because right now I look like a Frankenstein creature so here's what I did you know with the wax it's kind of a crappy quality but you know uh, it's synthetic modeling wax, so you take it in your fingers, it's very hard. And just pretty much squeeze it, squish it until you make kind of a sausage shape and start working with it. 
I used uh, Vaseline on my fingers to make it not stick to the fingers because otherwise it's gonna stick to the fingers. So I'm gonna dip my fingers again. So it's all nice and oily. And I'm going to try to... Oh, oh it's falling apart. All right, I think this one is a goner. So I'm gonna have to make a new one for the bottom lip. But you know, you live and learn. All right, I think it's more or less. I'm just gonna use Very Yum Go To because it's very neutral-ish. And you can layer it over with anything. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use eyeshadow as a lipstick. Because I'm not sure how lipstick is gonna lay. Probably not very well on this thing. So, powder is the way to go. So I took another HD Tape palette. This is Lost and Fashion. And I'm gonna go between this color and this color here. Gardenia and Dahlia. With the same brush I used before. And I'm trying not to stick a lot. Because this whole thing is gonna fall apart. The lips are a little crooked, but you know, let's consider it artistic expression. <laughs> and let's put something on, like a wig, some accessories, and I'm gonna cut, cut up this t-shirt because I don't own any white tops at all. Like, at all. I don't wear white, I guess, <laughs> I just realized. So I'm just gonna cut it up, gonna make it look nicer, and we're gonna accessorize. I'll be right back. And she's here. Gary Colby is here. Entrance look from RuPaul's Drag Race season 14. I'm not showing my nails because I had no time, intentions to do them. My nails are still showing uh, the furniture installer from the movie. <laughs> but I got the outfit correctly-ish. So white is the t-shirt that just cut the top off very much. This is like my old belly dance outfit. <laughs> Pieces of it. And a little pink scarf, so we got blue, we got pink. And this is a cheap wig from Amazon, it was all blonde, lace front. And I did use water activated paints, it's just face paints. It's really easy, guys, to color uh, the synthetic wigs. So I used a little brush last night. Bam bam. I did the hands. Like the ends, they're all pink too. It's actually pretty, I might leave the wig like that. It's a cute wig like this. So what do you guys think? I think it sort of looked like her, of course we have different face shapes and the lips look a little crusty, but actually the scar wax is still on them, <laughs> amazingly. I love the wig, I love the blue and pink. I wish all the best for Carrie and all the girls in RuPaul's Drag Race and also uh, all the trans women, they are beautiful, and uh, a lot of people, a lot of trans women came out uh, this season, uh, right on the season, so uh, I wish you all the best, I hope you transition and live your happy life, and Carrie is a beautiful, beautiful girl, and yeah, it was a pleasure to do this look. I hope I did you a justice, and if you see this, pictures, there can be pictures on Instagram, I hope she sees it. Because, you know, we're going to face tune the lip crust, <laughs> just shape, because <laughs> this doesn't look that pretty in person. Anyway, yeah, that's it, you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, Carrie just was eliminated last week. I'm pretty sure it was last week, because since we moved the house, it's been so crazy that I forgot which week it is and what's going on. <laughs> I skipped one week actually. I was gonna do Georgia's look, the one that she won her episode, and then we moved and like that that's it. I could not do anything. Uh so leave me a comment, like this video if you enjoyed it. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and also go live uh some Mondays. So follow me on social media, all the links are down below, as well as my Patreon group. A huge thank you to all my patrons. Thank you guys so much for being there for me supporting me in my channel i love you guys and thank you for watching i'll see you in my next fabulous video hannies oh bye